So this is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to do world constraints. If you're not sure what those are, it's basically when you can drop an item in the world and then walk away from it. Bear in mind that by doing this tutorial, I already think that you know how to do toggles, like simple toggles on and off. So without further ado, let's get started. So of course, what you're going to need is world constraint, and I'm going to link it in the video's description. It is on GitHub. Once you get that, put it on your desktop and then drag it from your desktop into your Unity project. Right now we did the, that. What you're going to do is go ahead in your assets, and you can just search up World Constraint to easily find it. Open the men, open the file, and then just drag that cube into your hierarchy. Once we did that, you're going to quickly right-click on it and unpack prefab. Then open it. You're going to drag the reset target onto your avatar. And you just also want, want to drag the world constraint onto your avatar as well. And that's that when it comes to that part. Now, how would you actually put something on it so that you can toggle it on and off? Well, I'm going to show you my avatar here where basically I added the set of doors. And you're going to basically put it, put the model in the hierarchy and then drag it on the cube. Now, how to get rid of the cube? I am not too sure myself. I just made it transparent, but I'm sure there are some ways that you can make it so that it's not in the world. But the cube, I'm pretty sure, has to be there. Just make it transparent and put it somewhere where it's not visible. So basically drag the prefab that you want to appear and reappear onto the cube. And basically you're going to make two toggles. One that toggles the thing that is on the cube and the other toggle that basically controls it here. Uh, this little this little parameter here on the constraint. That is what basically makes it so that you can move away from it with and it's it's staying in the world. So a toggle for the doors and toggle for the constraint. And that is pretty much it. You're ready to go. I hope that this helped in some way. Uh, if you would like me to do a full tutorial from scratch, uh, do let me know. But th if, if we're this too much far advanced in Unity, I already assume that uh, you guys know how to do toggles by this point. If you've been following me for a bit, I'm sure that you already know how to do toggles. But if not, and if you find this video interesting, then I can do a video totally from scratch to help you guys out. Anyway, that was it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.